Hold on to S2 of the brand new Buffalo Rock. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Ignition. Parachute deployment confirmed. Hey everyone, here on my channel. What you saw right now was the second hold down test. Since the first test conducted half a year ago, this rocket got major upgrades. The new RevD flight computer was designed, some parts were re-engineered and the intent software was rewritten from the ground up. The software is now way more lucid and easier to debug. No changes have been made to the graphic user interface. There are also plans to rework the GUI after successful flight. Now let's talk about what went down in this test. As a reminder, these sorts of tests are conducted for gathering flight stability data, as well as testing the overall software reliability. As seen in this video, the time of ignition was just on point, as the engine's pre-burner has a duration of 4 seconds. If you look closely, you will see that the TVC already starts correcting at T-5 seconds. The impact it has is kind of low as the preburner's thrust is barely noticeable. Nevertheless, the rocket stays very stable. The engine only begins providing real thrust at T-0 seconds. The rocket remains stable, but the altitude measurement is drifting a lot. It's very likely that the error is related to a hardware issue. At T plus 2 seconds we have burnout shortly after followed by planned parachute deployment at T plus 3 seconds. As I wanted to gather more stabilization data I recycled for hold down test 3. This time an ignition error occurred. The issue leads back to the igniters I am using. They are a little bit too big for the used engines. If they are fitted in too strongly, they don't come out at ignition. Therefore a lot of pressure builds up inside the engine till to the point where it's enough to explode. After this kind of epic explosion, the parachute is still deploying nominally. This test wasn't a full success. But the issues are not related to the flight capability of this rocket. If you have a look on the data, especially the angle measurements, you can see peaks during the explosion. They are induced due to the high vibrations. All data was still captured and saved to the SD card, which is also a good thing in an error situation. To fix the issue with the ignition, new igniters will be bought. The rocket will be repaired, the launch pad will be finished, and then it's finally time to launch this space, the first time ever. That's all from me, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I will see you next time.